are the three properties of LTA system. One is that is memory less system. Any system is said to be memory less if its output is depends on only on the present values of the input. If it depends upon the previous values of the input, then the system is said to be memory system. Now, based on the impulse response, we can say the system is memory or memoryless. The system is said to be memoryless if it's that is h of n that is impulse response of the system is equal to zero when n is not equal to zero in case of discrete in case of continuous impulse response of that continuous time system equal to zero when t is not equal to zero and the system is said to be memoryless once again i'll repeat this any system is said to be memoryless if its output is depends only on the present values of the input that is if the impulse response is equal to zero when n is when h of n is equal to zero when n is not equal to zero and h of t is equal to zero when t is not equal to zero similarly we can say that about causality of a system that is causality system is said to be causal if its output is depends on the present and or past input values if it depends upon the if the output of a system depends upon the future values of the input then the system is said to be non causal based on the impulse response of an lta system we can decide that whether the system is causal or non causal if the impulse response that is h of n equals to 0 when n is less than 0 then the system is said to be causal in case of discrete time system similarly in case of continuous system if h of t is equal to 0 when t is less than 0 okay based on impulse response you can decide system is causal or non causal similarly we can talk about the stability part of the system that is system is said to be stable if the bounded input results in the bounded output that is suppose if we take an y of n is equal to x of n is linearly convolved with a h of n okay then that is y of n is equal to you know this formula convolution sum formula that is summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity x of k into h of n minus k using commutative property we can write that summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity that is h of k into x of n minus k because we know that x of n is linearly converted with h of n is same as h of n is linearly converted with x of n here input signal is fixed that is constant that is it's since it is less than infinity input is less than infinity that is x of n minus k is less than infinity okay that is output is you can talk about its stability based on the impulse response of this that is you can say a system is stable if summation of k tends to minus infinity plus infinity h of k if this is less than infinity then the system is said to be stable see in here in the in the properties of impulse response of lta system based on the impulse response we can say that system is memory or memoryless, causal or non-causal, stable or unstable. To say it is a memoryless, we should say impulse response is equal to h of n is equal to zero when time n is not equal to zero. H of or in case of continuous, h of t is equal to zero when t is not equal to zero. Similarly, in case of causality, system is said to be causal if the impulse response of that system h of n is equal to zero when n is less than zero. In case of continuous h of t is equal to 0 when t is less than 0 and to tell about its stability based on the impulse response you can say that system is stable or unstable you know the stability says that that is for every bounded input if it results a bounded output then system is said to be stable that is let us calculate the this that is impulse response summation of k tends from minus infinity plus infinity h of k if this value is less than infinity then the system is said to be stable okay now 
based on these concepts that is let us find out the unit step response of an LTA system that is unit step unit step response of LTA system what is the meaning of this unit step response means input is considered as u of n you know what is u of n u of n value is 1 when n is greater than or equal to 0 we know that output of an LTA system is given by x of n is linearly convolved with h of n okay that is also same has that is y of n is equal to h of using competitive property i can write that h of n is linearly convolved with x of n that is you can write this one has y of n is equal to summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity that is h of k into x of n minus k now the meaning is unit step response means input is considered as u of n input is considered as u of n that is we can write above equation has summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity h of k into u of n minus k and from this i can write that u of you know what is u of n minus k its value is 1 when n minus k is greater than or equal to 0 that is when n is greater than or equal to k that is nothing but k is less than or equal to n from this i can decide that the upper limit of this summation k should not be greater than n and minimum value of k is minus infinity that is y of n is equal to summation of k tends from minus infinity to upper limit of the k that is summation is n that is h of k u of n minus k value is 1 this is the formula is used to get the unit step response of a discrete time LTA system similarly in case of continuous time system x of t is linearly convolved with h of t uh, that is can that can be written as h of t is linearly convolved with x of t okay that is we can write y of t is equal to integral of minus infinity plus infinity h of tau into x of t minus tau into d tau now let us consider this x of t has u of t then we can write that integral of minus infinity to plus infinity h of tau x of t minus tau can be written as u of t minus tau into d tau and that is what is u of t minus tau is equal to 1 when t minus tau is greater than or equal to 0 there is nothing but t is greater than or equal to tau where tau is less than or equal to t that means from this also we will get the upper limit of the integration that means i can write that y of t is equal to integral of minus infinity to upper limit is t h of tau u this value is y of t minus tau value is 1 t tau this is the formula is used to get the unit step response of an continuous time lda system